Hello, hello everybody. I was actually on time today. And wouldn't you guess that <laughs> Streamlabs decided to update. I was really, I was really mad because I wanted to get on and be like, you guys, I'm on time. And then it was like, no. So that's okay. We're still here. We're a little late like usual. So I guess it's not too off par, I suppose. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, it's been a good week. How have you guys been? I got to plant some things. That was fun. And then in the newest audio, when I was talking about planting flowers, I actually had planted flowers. That was pretty, pretty fun for me this week. And I saw the eclipse, bro. It was so. It was probably one of the most amazing moments of my life. It was. It was amazing. Did I talk about that? Just happened this week, right? It's starting to blend together for me. Let's see. Thane has been a member for 18 months and said, Hello, Katori. 18 months. Let's go. Closer and closer to two years. I know it's crazy. It's crazy that we would have been here for that long. I'll tell you what. Mr. One Upon donated and said, Good evening, Katori. And I hate updates. Oh, I hate them too. Well, the thing is, like, I, I restarted my computer, like, just this morning. So, like, I thought, okay, everything's up and running. It's all good. And then I, um literally start the stream and then it's just like nah you gotta you gotta update it you gotta update right now and i'm just like oh well, all right but yeah no um actually i saw last night someone i mean I, they said not to read it out so i won't but some there is someone who gave a rather massive donation on kofi and i really appreciate that they wanted to support the channel so i know they said not to read out the donation but i i saw that we're at 30 percent of like the Kofi goal, and so I was like, what the heck? And so I checked up on it last night, and uh, someone was very generous and gave a very nicely sized donation. So I just wanted to say thank you. I promise I won't read it out because they asked me not to, but I just wanted to thank them in some way. Hopefully, maybe they're here. I don't know. It was a very, it was anonymous, I think. Well, actually, they did leave a name, but I won't say it. Let's see. But we do have a donation today from Cyberman. And it said, Hey, Katara, I hope you're feeling okay today. So I sent my audition on Wednesday and I hope it was good enough to hear clearly. Not going to lie a bit nervous. I was, I just wanted to get it over with to try my best. Also made fan art for you. Aw, thank you for the fan art, Cyberman. And no need to be nervous. I'm sure a lot of other people are nervous too. Um, you know, uh, I have gotten quite a few <laughs> emails already. I wasn't expecting to get auditions this early. Um, so I can only imagine how many I'm going to have to sort through. I haven't listened to all of them because, you know, I just figured I'd compile them first. Uh, and then that way I can kind of listen to them all like in, in one go. So that way I can kind of, you know, it's a bit, a bit easier to kind of, you know, take notes as to like, you know, good points about each one and stuff like that. So. But no, I, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll all be good. And um, thank you for auditioning. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see all the auditions. I'm sure yours is good too. Thane donated and said, "Hello, Katori. I hope you are well. That was a fun exercise to prepare the audio and send it for the dating show. My girlfriend is going to send her her audio tomorrow. <laughs> really? That's cool. I think she'll be the first girl to enter. I don't think I've had any girls enter yet. Also, I'm curious, how many emails did you receive already? Of course, you don't have to reply if it's a secret." Um, I don't know how many I've received. I haven't really counted. Probably, I, I don't even know. Um, I'd say about 20-ish. There might be more. I don't know. I kind of just like take note of like, oh, okay. Like I, I just kind of have downloaded some and, and some I haven't downloaded. I, I actually, I kind of like, I, I mark the ones that I downloaded and the ones I haven't. Um, so I, I really don't know. <laughs> I can't give you a specific number, but there's quite a few, especially for only being like, it, we're only a few days in, it's not even to the deadline yet. So I can only imagine how many I'm going to have as the days go on. Wicked Penguin donated and said, why do the numbers three and five make a team? Because together they thrive. <sighs> also, don't forget to tweet. Thank you, Wicked Penguin or Bobby for remembering. Thank you for reminding me. I shall do so. <laughs> oh my y'all. But yeah. No. But no, Thane, also thank you for sending in uh, your own audition. I am excited to hear. I don't think- have I heard your voice, Thane? I don't know if I have. 
That'd be interesting. I get to hear Thane's accent. Very cool. Him and, oh, him and his girlfriend's accent. That'd be cool. There's so, it's also pretty interesting too. Like there's a lot of people, I think there's some people who've entered that, um, you know, they're not like stream regulars. They're just people that enjoy the channel. So it's also cool to like see people that I've never seen before, you know, like, um, so it's, uh, it, it's really interesting to see like who sends stuff. I'm like, oh, who's this? You know, like, I don't know who this is. Um, so I think it'll be really cool to kind of like look through them all and just like, kind of like you get to hear what your community sounds like, you know, like, so that's really interesting. But anywho. Mr. Wanapon donated and said, Good evening, Katori, and I have updates. You have updates? Oh. <laughs> Good evening to you, too, Mr. Wanapon. Egrich SMG has been a member for nine months and said, Hey, hey, looking forward to the dating show. I can tell it'll be fun. Also, you should probably start checking Streamlabs early. <laughs> well, I did. I restarted my, my computer. We started this morning. And there was no updates, unless it just forgot to do it. I don't know. So, I don't know. Here, actually, let me tweet out the stream. Let's just... Come on. There you go. Boop. Okay. Ty Marshall donated and said, Dad joke, what is a magician's favorite song? Abra Abra Kadabra. <laughs> ah, yes. Of course, of course. Uh, Iron Piedma has been a member for 18 months and said, Thanks for putting up with my tomfoolery for 18 months, Katori. I can't think of anything else, so here's a comforting hug. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Iron. And thank you for being with the channel for 18 months, too. It's amazing that people have been around this long. It's, it's crazy. And, that, and that's not even like the beginning of the channel. This is just like memberships. So it's just, it's kind of crazy, you know? But yeah, no, thank you, Iron. Thank you for being here as well. Much appreciated. Uh, Mr. One Upon donated and said, anyway, on Monday, I've been to a, I went to a funeral because my mother of a friend of mine came to the end of her life, but that old friend of mine is going to be fine. Um. But no, you know, I'm sorry about your mother's friend passing. That's really sad. But, you know, I'm, I'm hope she lived a very long and nice life. But yeah, no, not, not a very happy update, but um, yeah, I hope I hope y'all are okay. Well, we have quite a few to go through. Lee Blackwolf donated and said, I am doing mine soon, but I need to know what the MP3 thing is. I only heard of it, but I, I don't know what it is or how to use it. I am good with everything else. MP3 is just the file. It's just a, it's just an audio file. So it's just the file type. It's not a program or anything. Um, and like if you, for some reason, whatever program you use to record yourself and stuff like that, if it doesn't um, give you an MP3 file, if it gives you another kind of audio file, that's fine. I just have to have an audio file to listen to. Um, MP3s are the easiest for me, so that's why I said it. But um, if you, if you know, some people haven't sent MP3 files and it's just an audio file, like, you know, just like it was like a WAV or, you know, some other kind of file type. But as long as it's an audio file that I can listen to and can be emailed to me, it's totally fine. MP3, MP3 is just a file type. Like, it's just like, you know, the type of file that it is. It's just a, ver it's, it's one of the versions of a audio file. Mr. One Upon donated and said, Oh yeah, also, on that last Wednesday, I've sent in my addition to you, and I hope you understand that I gave my best. Oh no, I'm sure you gave your best, Mr. One Upon. I'm really excited to hear what you've sent to me. And thank you for, thank you for entering. It's really exciting to see how many people have uh, jumped on board and sent in their audio files. Tyrion Draken donated and said, Good evening, Kutori. Do you watch shows on, on streaming services? If so, have you seen Grimm and that, and what Wesson would be? If you seen Grimm, and what Wesson would you be? Also, the W is a V. Is oh the W is a V. Wait, what? Oh, what Wesson? Okay, what Wesson would you be? Okay, um, no, I've never seen Grimm. I do have, I do. Well, I used to have Netflix. I just have to reinstate it, but I was lazy. Um, and uh. No, yeah, yeah, well, did we read that? But yeah, we mainly just have Netflix and, um, 
mainly just Netflix. And then, you know, if I really need to find something, I will find it. <laughs> there were ways around- I was kidding, no. But no, um, yeah, mainly just Netflix is what I have. I don't have, like, Hulu or- Well, we, well, well, we do have Prime. We have, a uh, Amazon Prime video. I think that's about it for streaming services. Thankfully, when we got, you know, Amazon Prime for, you know, like, shipping stuff, it gives you Prime Video, so. Oh, yeah, I just watched Invincible. Dude, that ended. I'm so depressed. <laughs> I gotta wait to 2025 to see the next part of this next season. But anywho. Uh, Isaac Brewer donated and said, I like the wholesome vibes and I really respect the dedication. That said, Tuesday's audio made me go, what is in my feed? Oh, okay, Katori. <laughs> oh, okay, Katori. <laughs> What? What, are you scared? Does it scare you? It's just a girlfriend who wants you to get your sleep. You know? She's just being a little assertive about it. Sometimes people just need a not-so-gentle push <laughs> to do- to get some sleep. Like, it's hard- I, I was trying to find a word for it, you know what I mean? Like, to be like a dominant girlfriend, but I know like that whole like- dom tag can also mean something else you know what i mean so like i had we have to find a different adjective <laughs> so we chose assertive i figured that was pretty you know it's in the ballpark and um you yeah, know i i gave her a black tank top i thought we needed like something different so i mean you know we're still within the blue palette i made the background blue so it kind of still haloed it <laughs> Ty Marshall donated and said, I had a fight with a cookie salesman the other day. He beat the chips out of me. Oh my gosh. For a minute, I, for a minute, I was like, what? What are you talking about? All right. All right. Okay. Okay, let me read this um, super chat and then I will check on Kofi. Mr. Wanapon donated and said, Also, on the last Wednesday, I published the fourth member of the Dragon Squad. Ooh, cool. Congratulations. You know, you're keeping on top of that. Good for you. It's good to keep on top of your projects. I definitely need to do that for myself. Alrighty, let's see. Do, do, do. Wicked Penguin donated and said... Wait, uh, here we are. What? Where do vampires get their pencils? Pennsylvania. <laughs> oh, Bobby, Bobby, Bob, Bobby. Oh, we have another one. Hold on. Let's see what he said in this donation. He said, I saw a squirrel that couldn't make up its mind today. He was on the fence all day. <laughs> I'm assuming you've been compiling these, Bobby. Have you been compiling these for a while? These lovely dad jokes to sprinkle through April. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Shogo donated and said, Dear best girl, you looked absolutely gorgeous in your blue dress and announcement video. The way it sparkled at the bottom reminded me of dragon scales. I'm convinced you're actually a dragon in human form all along. <laughs> but no, thank you. Um, I think that's the, it's the same dress that I wore in the calendar uh, for um, the anniversary calendar videos or the birthday like the month of january and i think it was sprinkled in march as well um but no thank you i'm glad you like the dress it is one of my favorite ones that i own um but yes yes it was it was it was it was interesting to film i wish the video quality was better but with the time that i had and it was just you know it, i could not wait any longer it was taking forever so i was like you know what i was thinking about reshooting it and that's why I, the video took forever to post because I was still like on the fence of whether or not I was gonna try to re-film the video and then I didn't, so. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'm glad you liked it. And um, I wish I was a dragon in human form. That'd be freaking amazing, but sadly, sadly no. <laughs> oh, Bobby donated again and said, our local auctioneer has passed away. He was somewhere around 30, 35, 30, 35, 40. <laughs> Bobby! N oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Crimson Phoenix donated and said, Hey Katori, won't be able to make it today. I'm out to dinner with fam. Have a good stream though, and the yeets too. Well, thank you Crimson Phoenix, thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a very lovely dinner with your family. Oh, Jay! I don't know if this has Jay been here in a while. Jay donated and said, Bro should pick the contestants live on stream. No! 
No, it's gonna be a secret. I guess that's something I didn't say in the video. Like, it's gonna be a secret until it happens. So in the email that, uh, you know, if you, if you become a contestant, you'll receive an email that will basically tell you that, for one, you're in, you know, the dating show, and two, to not tell anybody. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's gonna be a long process. I don't know, it's gonna be hard. Because, um, like, I mean, some, some of the, uh, I think, like, the average video length was probably about, like, two and a half minutes, three-ish minutes. Some, some were, like, a minute long, but some were also six minutes long, so it really just depends. I'm gonna have to, like, kind of listen through all of them and take, like, notes, and then I'll probably have to listen to them again. Um, but no, they will not be announced, Jay. It'll be secret. Big secret. Secret. <laughs> That'd be cool, though. But, um, I figured it'd be cooler to kind of, like... Like, nobody would- I mean, granted, I suppose, if I announced that, you know, I picked the contestants and you didn't get an email, then you would, you know, I guess you would know that you weren't chosen, but you would still not know who was. It's a secret. <laughs> Cyberman donated and said, hope you foot- hope your foot is better now so I can send hugs. <laughs> um, actually, it's- well, it's better. I can walk on it now, but it still has this, like- you know when the bruise is like fading away and somehow it looks even more gross, you know? Cause it's like not, cause at least when it's like a purple bruise, it's like, it's like, there's like a contrast, you know? But now it's like fading and it just looks all blotchy and eh. so, you know, but it is what it is. <laughs> but no, it feels better. It's just, it still looks kind of, kind of nasty. Let's see. Um. Hmm. Sorry, this chat flew up again. They need to work on that. The chat flying up, I lose my place. Here we are. Tyrion Draken donated and said, If you have Prime Video, Grimm is on there. And my favorite character is Monroe and Rosalie. My favorite Vesson couple. Oh. Yeah, no, I've never heard of it. Or see I mean, I think you mentioned it before. But yeah, I've never like seen... I don't think I've seen anything for it or watched it. So, But yeah, if I... um. Right now, me and my fam are finishing up the middle. Uh, it's like a, more like of a sitcom. Uh, so maybe I'll check that out once I'm done with that. Let's see. Ty Marshall donated and said, I saw a bird sitting on a rock as it was smoking. Well, I can smell what the rock was cooking. <laughs> oh my y'all, that poor bird. Let's see. Mystery ASMR donated and said the leader of Russia should be put Putin jail. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Everyone's jumping on the dad joke freaking train. I'm gonna be dead. I'm gonna be cooked. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mr. Wanapon donated and said, What king of elemental dragon would you be? A fire dragon, a thunder dragon, a rock, a fighting, or water? Sky, ice, or forest? <laughs> and a water dragon I think sounds cool. Probably a water dragon if I had to pick. Um, Cyberman donated and said, So, Dad, when did you... So, Dad, when did your life go wrong? How old are you? Oh. <laughs> Gosh dang. It's a burn to your dad. Shadow Demon has been a member for 17 months and said, Hey, Katorian chat. Sorry I won't be able to be here tonight. I just moved into a new place and I can't feel my body or soul. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Well, you, you rest up, Shadow Demon. I'm sure you've, I'm sure you've been kind of all around today. You know, I mean, even I was, I, I had to do a lot of cleaning this morning. Um, so that took a lot out of me. I was like, oh my gosh. But I am here. I'm alive. So you rest up. You rest. You make sure you rest. But no, thank you. Thank you for, thank you for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you. Garrick Anderson donated and said, If you want to go on a nostalgia trip, search and look up Cartoon Network compilations. They got some classic anime or cartoons on them. Oh no, I love looking up Cartoon Network stuff. It's like my favorite. Especially like when they're in their like Cartoon Network city. Like that's, that's great. Great, I suppose that's not like the show compilation. It's like a commercial compilation, but 
No, I, I, I still look up old shows all the time. <laughs> it's always so great. Uh, Mr. Wanapon donated and said, I mean kind, like as in kind of. Oh yeah, like, you know, like what kind of elemental would I rather be, you know? I definitely would pick water. Okay, hold up. Let me check on Kofi, because I know I saw some Kofis come in. We don't want to miss anything. Hold on. I'm sure Bobby has some more dad jokes he'd like to tell. Let's see. Uh, Iron Piedmont donated and said... So Iron Piedmont says, Kokiri says, I've been with the channel since year one and never supported the channel. <laughs> message was brought to you by the Piedmont Communications Service. Our re <laughs> reliability is ironclad. Well, Kokiri, I think you've you've supported in your own way. You know, you've you've you, you've been here, you've you come to the streams, and you've given some really cute fan art. So I think you support in your own way. I mean, if just even if it's not monetary support, you still support the channel. You know, any support is always helpful. You know what I mean? Don't count yourself out, Kokri. Let's see. Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said, My grandpa was in a band called The Hinges. They opened the doors. <laughs> With all these jokes, I'm probably ruining my chances. <laughs> oh my gosh. You didn't give any dad jokes in your audition, did you, Bobby? Please tell me you didn't. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't. Oh no. Oh, it's Dick Desu! Dick Desu's been gone for a real long time. Dick Desu donated and said, Hello, hello, from your native world traveler. Well, hello, Dick Desu. I hope you're doing all right. And they said you were going on a big trip or something like that. Very, very big trip. I think you said you were going to, like, go to Japan or something like that, from what I recall. Also, um, I think the last- gosh, it was a long time ago. I think the last time you were in here, you sent me a face reveal and then didn't get to me until you left. And I finally saw it. I saw it. I actually finally saw it. It finally, like, sent through, like, a month ago whenever you were last here. I thought you had, like, a little lizard on your hat. It was very cute. Very cute. For a minute, I, w I actually was wondering, like, what- it was on the hat and I realized it was a lizard. I wish I had a lizard on my hat. But yeah, I almost forgot about that. It's a very dippy fresh hair. Ooh. Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said, Why didn't Han Solo enjoy his steak dinner? It was chewy. <laughs> Bobby! Bobby, no! Bobby. Bobby. No. <laughs> Shoko donated and said, When were you going to tell us that Kokiri is actually your third cousin Jeb living in Cali? <laughs> Cali. One, you both have unlimited hair. Two, you're both super short. Three, both speak fluent valley girl. And four, both incredible artists. It's not even Kokiri. It is it. It's Kokiri, spelled with a C. <laughs> Man, Kokiri, the jig is up. They jig is up. They found out, Kokiri. They found out that you're Jeb. We really tried, man. We really tried to keep this under wraps. We really tried. <laughs> <sighs> oh, well. We tried our best. <laughs> Tyrion Draken donated and said, If you can smell the bird that Rock is cooking, it must be pretty foul. <laughs> I suppose so. Isaac Brewer donated and said, Assertive GF was great. GF keeps you in bed from Tuesday was the art that shocked me. Still fantastic audio. <laughs> the artwork? Really? I feel like that's not the best artwork I've done, so. But I'm glad you liked it. Mr. Wanapon donated and said, Oh, talking of water, I'll be uploading the water dragon this May. That is coming up. Oh, cool. I'm sorry, I had that air bubble in my throat. But no, that's really cool, Mr. Wanapon. I'm glad that you're, you know, you're continuously pushing out, you know, your projects. That's amazing. 
Ty Marshall donated and said, what is the golf player's favorite food? A sandwich, oh, a sand, oh, what's the golf player's favorite food? A sandwich because they have a club called a sand wedge. Say it fast and it will sound like sandwich. <laughs> I'm sure it does, Ty, I'm sure it does. One of the shows I loved watching was trans- Oh, Garrick Anderson donated and said, One of the shows I loved watching was Transformers, Armada. I especially loved the action figures they had. It was a fun part of my childhood. Oh, cool. I never really got into- I wasn't into Transformers as a kid. I was more into Power Rangers. But that is cool. Mystery ASMR donated and said, I told dad jokes. He didn't find them funny. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Wavern Dukeman donated and said, I apologize for not being around. Now I need to try and get some stuff from my bra brain onto paper. I'd hope one day to commission you for a project. Oh, okay. Uh, but no, no need to apologize. Believe me, I get it. Life is busy. <laughs> it's actually been extremely busy for me recently too, so no worries. So, but you know, thank you for stopping by even though things have been crazy for you and um, yeah, I hope you're able to get some writing done. I know how it feels to not be writing. It's definitely not a good feeling. Uh, but yeah, um, if you want to ever commission me for a project, uh, just follow me on Ko-fi. Right now the commission slots are closed, but they should hopefully be opening up uh, uh, again soon. Oh, Dick Desu. Dick Desu has been a member for 18 months and said, I was in Japan for two weeks and I'm currently in Thailand about to go to Bangkok. And yep, I found that little guy. That's cute. Yeah, y'all. Now we know. I, now I know what Dick Desu looks like. You know, I, I don't know how that little lizard went on your hat. Those little lizards always run away from me. Like, I, I, I always, I, oh gosh, they're so cute. I wish I could have a lizard go on me, man. But they run away. Maybe I'll try again. I'll try again sometime. Maybe when, whenever I go back to somewhere in the tropics, I'll see if the little lizard will like me or not. Maybe I just have to sit still. <laughs> Christopher James donated and said, Good evening. I hope you are well. I am indeed well, just busy. <laughs> Always busy. But I'm well. I am well. Jay donated and said, I know I got my spot on lock for the dating show, so I'm gonna head out soon celebrating a friend's birthday today. Hope y'all feeling fresh. Stay safe. Oh, you, th oh, um, Miss Pretty Confident, aren't you there, Jay? You think you already got a spot? I don't know. I think well, I've seen I've seen yours. I think I downloaded yours. I haven't listened to all of them yet, so but we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> but no, um, have a fun time at your friend's birthday, Jay, and uh, we shall stay fresh and safe. We shall all say dippy fresh. Cyberman donated and said, "Run, Katori, Master Note is back. Hide, Matori." <laughs> I'm not gonna hide. Masternode just likes to come and visit. Do, do, do. Okay, here, hold on. Let me look at Kofi because I know there's a few that I have not read yet. Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said, I was taking a guy's order. He said, I want a cheeseburger. I said, okay. He said, well done. And I said, thank you. <laughs> Bobby. Okay, what's, what's what's the next one? What's the next dad joke? What do we got here? He said, what crimes do blacksmiths most commonly, oh, what, 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 oh, what, oh, what's that? What crimes are blacksmiths most commonly charged with? Forgery. Oh my y'all. All right, what do we got here? <laughs> he donated and said, a genie granted me one wish, so I said, I just want to be happy. Now I'm living in a cottage with six other dwarves and working in a, in a mine. Happy the dwarf? Dang, that'd, that'd actually, that'd be really, that, yeah, that, she, that, that genie done you real dirty, man. They literally decided to put you as happy the, happy, one of the seven dwarves. Man, that's a really diabolical, diabolical genie. <laughs> Iron Piedmont donated and said, so Iron Piedmont, let me say this, so Iron Piedmont donated and said, 
Eri Ronby says, they found out I was distantly related to Cy Cyrene. I still don't know how they found out our little secret. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm forgetting my own characters. <laughs> I was like, wait, who's Cyrene? Oh, the, um, that's the, that's the L L L Lamia, right? Lamia, got you. <laughs> so this message was brought to you by the Piedmont Communication Service. Our reliability is ironclad. Okay, I forgot I named her Cyrene. Shame on me. Let's see. Wicked Penguin donated and said, My wife told me I can think of 14 reasons to leave you, plus your obsession with tennis. I replied, That's 15, love. Oh my gosh. No! Bobby! <laughs> Bobby, why do you do this? April Fool's Day is one day, Bobby. It is one day. Oh, help me. Oh, help me. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, hold up. We have one more donation. I almost, I almost missed it. Oh, it's from Bobby. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what the next joke is from Bobby. We could pay, we could pay one or Bobby donated and said, you should always fear a pirate duck. He has the power to unleash the quacken. Bobby? No. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me, Lord. What's this? Oh, cool. Sorry, I just saw Dick, Dick Desi sent pictures from um, his trip in Japan and Thailand, I think. The bro be having the time of his life. Good for you, Dick Desu. <laughs> Good for you. Actually, I think I, I think I got all of them. Did I get all of them? <laughs> Bobby's like, yes, Katori. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, one day I should travel to Japan. One day. That'd be pretty cool. I always wanted to, like, visit Akihabara just to see all the stuff that was there. Or, I don't know, just to kind of, like, walk around. Like, the whole area just seems really cool, you know? Especially the nature areas. Probably really pretty. Oh, wait, hold on. We have one more donation. Uh, Dick Desu donated and said, There you go. Sent some pictures of me and people I've met over the past three weeks. Wait, you just met these people? <laughs> I thought these were your friends or something. You don't know who these people are? So I guess these are just ra I thought these were, like, the people you were traveling with. <laughs> I didn't realize these were people you just met over the last couple weeks. Um, but either way, it looks like you're having fun. So I'm glad, uh, glad y'all are having a good time. Why are my fingers so cold? That's weird. Only one of my hands is cold. I have cold hands. But no, y'all, I'm gonna be planting some more plants. I was, um, I finally got my hands on some forget-me-nots, so I'm really excited about that. And cuckoo melons, but I gotta wait to plant those because, um, uh, you can't plant them till May, evidently, so I gotta keep them inside the house. But they're like, the cuckoo melons, I think I've told you guys this before, but um, they're like, they grow on like these vines. And they look like little watermelons, but in actuality, they are, um, they taste like cucumbers. So it's like, it's like a minute, it's like a, it's like a little cucumber melon. Lee Blackwolf donated and said, I'll take it to Japan, you can count on that. <laughs> Man, yeah. I don't know, I, I you know, before like, I, I was super like, I was like way more passionate about anime like years ago. I mean, I still love anime, don't get me wrong, but like I feel like now too, like I would also just be really interested in seeing a lot of like the nature there, you know? 
just to kind of, or um, just like the different restaurants. I don't know, because I know there's a lot of cool restaurants there too to like look at. Or just, um, I don't know. I, I also know like there's like uh, areas like where like, I don't know, I think it'd be cool to like just dress up there too. I actually do own some Lolita uh, attire back in the day. <laughs> um, so that'd be interesting. Plus, I'm also just really interested in seeing what they think of my long hair because I know <laughs> I know that they're they're not really they don't really shy away from like, you know, like especially someone who looks like, you know, extremely different, like they'd probably stare. So It'd be interesting to see like, you know, I mean, granted that even happens now, like I can go into a grocery store and there's all there's all I can guarantee you every time I to go into a grocery store, there's always one older gentleman or lady that will always be like, oh my gosh, your hair's so long. And I was like, yeah, it is. Oh gosh, you know what? There was this really one sweet old man. I can't remember where it was at. It may have been even at like, I don't even know if it was the grocery store. But no, he was just, he was just, it was so sweet. He was just like, I really love your hair. He's like, no, he's like, not a lot of people keep their hair long anymore. And he's like, you know, I just, he just looks really beautiful. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. And he just looked like a little old man. I don't know, that brought that memory back up. That was so cute. Anyway, sorry. Hold on. Uh, let me look at... Here it is. I was like, why is Kofi not loading? Uh, Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said, my inflatable house got a puncture last night. Now I'm living in a flat. <sighs> ah, Bobby. Well, Bobby, I hope you enjoy your flat. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, Alex Jacobo, thank you for the rose. Thank you, thank you. Garrick Anderson donated and said, I just thought of a funny scene from Avatar. It would be a... Uh, oh, uh, oh, I thought I thought of a funny scene for Avatar. It would be a tomboy parody. Um, it would be Ty Lee knocking on the door while Azula is trying to sleep in. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant like Tom... Okay. Tommy boy. Okay, I don't know. I, I thought maybe it was a misspelling. So you mean... Oh, okay. So you want it to be like the scene from Tommy boy and instead like the, the roles are reversed between Azula and um, Ty Lee. That'd be funny. Uh, Mystery ASMR donated and said, Would the goblin girl be offended if I play Hogwarts Legacy answer in her voice? <laughs> I don't think she'd be offended. I think you can play whatever you like. Looks pretty interesting. Plus, I think I feel like her goblin is like a completely different goblin. So like, I don't really. I mean, she's she's somewhere else. <laughs> I don't think she'd mind. I feel like she'd also want to be a wizard. She'd probably play it too. <laughs> Garrick Anderson donated and said, or maybe the other war around. The what? I don't know what you mean. But oh, Cyberman, thank you for the rose. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> Excuse me. And I feel so tired. Does anyone else feel tired? I just feel so tired. I just feel like I woke up and I never fully woke up. And then, <laughs> oh my gosh, we played some cards to get it today. Like it was like a card game. I think it's called Here to Slay. My brother really likes it. And it got really heated, y'all. I mean, we were, <laughs> everybody was like, <laughs> it got super intense. It was, people were like, at the, towards the end of the game, it was like all, all bets were off. I was like, after that game, I was like, I need to decompress. I mean, like, no, nobody was angry. It wasn't like that, but it was just like, it was just like getting to like the final, like, you didn't know who was going to win and it was taking forever. And like, I was, people were just like laughing due to the pain. <laughs> oh man. I wish I recorded some of that. It was, it was quite a time. 
but anywho. <laughs> Mr. Smee said, well, goblins are usually evil, but she seemed nice. Well, of course she's nice. She's super sweet. She is super sweet. Did we give her a name? Did we give her a name? Hold on. Did we give the goblin girl a name? I don't think we did. Hold on. Um... No, did not. Actually, but while we're here, let's add the Lamia in here. Her name is Cyrene. Is that how you spell it? <laughs> is that how you spell Cyrene? Um, we're gonna hope that is. Wait, hold on. I think I have it over here. Hold on one second. We want to at least spell it somewhat correctly. Um, let's see, Y R E N. Yes, yes, I did. I spelled it right. Good job, good job for me. Man, there's a lot of people on this list, but yeah, I don't think I wrote down the Goblin Girl. I don't know if we gave her a name or not. Hmm. Garrick Anderson donated and said, "Stupid auto cracked other way." Oh, the other way around. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Actually, I'm surprised I didn't catch that. My bad. Um, Waver oh, Wavern Dukeman donated and said, I can't wait. I have some selfish ideas on account of that they, they hit a niche comfort for health oddities. I'm fine, honest, just a misshapen heart valve. Wait, you have some- wait, wait, you having some health stuff going on? Oh no. But no, I hope you, I hope you, I thought you were, I can't wait, have some selfish ideas. I thought you were talking about your story, but if you actually have some health issues going on, I hope you, I hope you're doing okay. Make sure to rest and take care of yourself. Do what you need to do. Uh, let's see. Um... Whoa, wait, whoa, what happened to Master Node? Someone's like, is he okay? What? Hold on. Oil leak in the turbo, vacuum all the oil in the reservoir. The engine went dry in second. Holy smokes, Master Node, I hope you're okay. I, I think you, well, I think he said, here it is. He said that Mimi was just, uh, oh, just your bank account got hurt. Okay, well, I'm glad you're okay, not to obviously that really sucks that your bank account took a hit, but I'm glad you're okay. Uh, let's see. Oh no. Here we are. <clears throat> hold up, hold up. Cyberman donated and said, Chibi shenanigans. Just once Celeste quarters Chibi Cyber and they both hear the clock ring 12. Chibi Cybern says, wait, before you put me in the pot, I got one request. Celeste said, okay, what is it? Then Cybern booped her nose and poof, Chibi, and then poof, Chibi. Celeste said, what did you do to me? And he said, now you're Chibi, bye, Ron. But now they're both small. We can't have Celeste being small. Celeste needs to be big. She is big woman, big woman. She's a giant woman. <laughs> well, I guess she's not, she's not like, she's not like as tall as Orc Jif, though. I feel like Orc Jif's taller. <laughs> it's Dick Desu donated and said, there you go, posted a bunch of pictures on Twitter for you and everyone else to see. Oh, cool. We get to see the escapades of Dick Desu as he travels. He's our travel man. Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said, Penguins produce an oil, oh, penguins produce an oil that helps their feathers retain heat. So it's true what they say. The oily bird gets the warm, warm, oh my gosh. You really had to think of that one. <laughs> you really had to think of that one, didn't you? Oh my gosh. Let me hold on one second. 
Whoopsie daisy. Let me reload this. For some reason, it's not taking me. There it is. Uh, Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated again and said, I asked my dad how it feels to have the best son in the world. He told me to ask my grandpa. Bobby. Oh my gosh. Anna. Oh, Ty, thank you for the rose, Ty. Thank you. Speaking of roses, I cannot wait for my own roses in my garden to bloom. Because I will make some more rose jelly. Rose jelly tastes really good, actually. It's, like a, it's actually a really nice flavor, in my opinion. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think this was like, big girl. Shogo said, I didn't know Celeste was a giant. Makes sense because she's a dragon. I guess she's not a giant. I don't know. I guess, like, I feel like out of all the girls, like, if we had to put them, like, in a tier of, like, tallness, it would go, like, Orc GF. Then it would go, um, would go Orc GF, and then it would go Celeste. You know, Tagger, then Celeste, and, you know, what have you. But they, th they would be the two tallest. Cyberman donated and said, now you can make Chibi Celeste keychains. It good. <laughs> Chibi Celeste, Chibi Celeste keychains. Uh, Garrick Anderson donated and said, if each of your GFs have their own food stand business, what kind of food would they sell? I think Orc would do maybe burgers and Neko ice cream, wolf hot dogs and Bunny GF probably smoothies and mermaid sushi, lol. Yeah, I feel like the mermaid would definitely do like fish related things. Like, I feel like she eats fish, too. Um, as for Tiger, I feel like she would, like, do- or the orc girlfriend, she would- Instead of, like, burgers, I feel like she would sell, like- Like, like, you know, like, actually, like- Like, like, meat on a stick. Like, like, kebab stuff, or like, you know, like, grilled things, you know? Versus burgers. And Neko would just have a full-on, like, um- Gosh, yeah. Does she have an ice cream shop? I feel like I can't can't decide if she'd sell like baked goods or like I, I can't decide if she'd have a chocolate shop or if she would have an ice cream shop. I feel like that's a tie between those. And then like, I feel like Dragon GF would have a tea shop. I feel like hers would be a tea shop, like more sophisticated, you know. Yeah, ribs, Kokiri. Yeah, I feel like yeah. Orc GF would be doing ribs. <laughs> that was what she. Actually, I've had ribs for the first time in a really long time, you guys. Um, uh, uh, when we went uh, to see the eclipse, uh, which was on Monday, right? It was super cool. It was amazing, fantastic. I could, I, I literally screamed. <laughs> I screamed when it happened. I, was, I mean, it was amazing. But anyways, after that happened, we we're like, hey, let's go out to eat. So we went, and I got to eat ribs. It was fantastic. Haven't been to Texas Roadhouse in freaking forever. My sister just likes the buns there, but I honestly like the ribs, so I got the ribs and I was happy. <laughs> but anywho, sorry. You know what? Yeah, Celeste being like 6'3", I can see that. Yeah, around there, around there. I can see that. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh... Waverin Dukeman donated and said, No, no, I'm alright. Born with misshapen valve. It just occasionally acts up. My story just has an MC with the same issue with a protective GF. Sorry. No, 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 no need to be sorry. I just wanted to make sure I was understanding correctly. Like, I didn't want to think you had something that you didn't have. But, um, but no, that's interesting. You, you know, used, you know, you're using, like, a part of your personal story to kind of implement into the story that you're writing. So, that's really cool. <laughs> Protective GFs are always great, so <laughs> I wish you luck on your writing. And yeah, thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Tyrion Draken donated and said, Oh yeah, I would ask Tagger for a Wavern steak. <laughs> Wavern steak.
It's me said saw, saw her more on the dot six foot myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minus, yeah, you're right, minus the horns, yeah. Yeah, Dick Dusty, does that count the horns? Because I think he was the one that said 6'3". I feel like the 6'3 would not count the horns, like, like yeah, like, I don't think they count the horns, Mistress Me. I feel like it would be, like, just, like, the top of, like, her head. Her horns are extra. Like, that's just extra, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that. So I guess... Well, no. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like Tagger, like, when she sta- if I, like, like, picture them in my mind. I feel like, you know, Celeste standing next to Tagger, like, like, how tall- how big are her horns again? Hold on, let me look. <laughs> let me- let me look at my own channel real quick. Uh, like, how tall are her horns? I mean, they're kinda- I still feel like Tagger would be a little bit above- she'd be above her horns, like, a bit. Yeah, like, I feel like her, like, Tagger's eyes would be level with, like, the top of her horns. Like, Tagger's still pretty tall. Maybe even more than that. I mean, I know technically there's really no canon height for Tagger, is that she's- she- she will always be taller than you, no matter what. No matter what, she's just always taller than you. But I guess now we have a canon height for Celeste. I guess she's 6'3". <laughs> Kokri said, I'm the Mario of this community, remember? My little Pete, there's a prince out there for you, and it's a me! <laughs> You're the Mario? Kokri's the little Mario. But yeah, no, I guess no matter what girlfriend we make, unless she's, like, literally a giantess. Like, I know people have asked for giantesses before. But yeah, Tagger will always be the tallest. Yeah, I feel like Neko's shorter, for sure. She's not tall. Most of the girls I make, unless, like, is specifically stated. Like, I know there's, like, some random tomboy audios I've made where, like, she says about being tall. But I know there's some that are short, so, like, they vary. But yeah. How is Celeste only five inches taller than me? I don't know, Natasha. You must be a big woman, too. <laughs> Sumi said, well, the lore of Tiger is she's one foot taller than the listener. So if Katori is the listener, she's six one, which is tall, but in a very unspectacular kind of way. Mr. Sumi. Mr. Sumi, I'm always spectacular. How dare you say that? <laughs> Anything related to me is. How dare you say this? <laughs> Garrick Anderson donated and said, Orc would probably do turkey legs. Oh yeah, like, yeah, turkey legs. That's what I was thinking of. As well as ribs. And of course, the ribs would be oversized considering fantasy boars are massive. She'd have her own BBQ sauce as well with a variety of flavors and spicy. Yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like she'd have like her face on the jar. <laughs> Tagger's homemade brew barbecue sauce. Yeah, I could see that. She definitely put her face on it. It'd be like one of those like smug faces that she has. Like that would be the face of the barbecue sauce. That'd be funny. Ziggy Gamma donated and said, Congrats on the 100k subs. So happy for you. I love the live action you did for the video. Also, didn't realize how long your hair is. Wow. Yeah, my hair is really long. I've, I've said that uh, quite a bit before. Granted, mainly in live streams. So I guess it kind of just depends if you caught it or not. But, um... No, yeah, my hair is really long. It actually truly is long. It goes to the back of my knees. I have very long hair. Mm hmm In real life, it is sometimes a burden. <laughs> Things like day 468 of asking Katori to do a giantess video. I'm sorry. I just don't know what to do with it. Time Marshall donated and said, congratulations on getting the play button. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, it was really cool to like have, you know, like I, I have it now. I have it. I could hang it somewhere. It's really cool. So I am really glad that I got it. Hmm. With the security girl, oh, security guard girl. She says something about along the lines of calling the listener short. Oh, yeah, short stack. And my 6-1 self was like, dang girl, you from nowhere or something. <laughs> 
security guard girl is just tall too, man. She's just taller than you. That's all I can say. We have to we have to make accommodations for everybody. She's just taller than you. That's all there is to it, Mr. Smee. She looks down on you. You know, I always wanted to look down on someone, but I literally can't unless I get like a step stool or if I stand on the counter. <laughs> <sighs> or, you know, you just bring them down to your level. You know what I mean? Let's see. Oh, you wonder how tall Mermaid GF would be if she stood upright. I don't know, Kokiri. She, you know, she might be really tall then because, like, her tail is pretty long. She might actually be taller than, uh, Dragon GF if she goes, like, from the tip of her tail to the top of her head. Might be actually taller than her. But still not taller than Tagger. Tagger will always be bigger. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny though? If like everybody is like always talking about Tagger's like the tallest and then like they end up measuring Mermaid GF or something or like Mermaid GF shows them this cool trick where she can stand on her tippy toes or her tippy fins or whatever. And they're like, holy smokes, she's taller than you. And then Tagger's pride is greatly, greatly just takes a blow. Takes a massive blow. But anyways. Garrick Anderson donated and said, I heard the magic word giantess. When are you planning on doing a video of one? What race would she be? Would What race would she be? Would it be? Would it be a fantasy or modern setting? Probably fantasy. I'm definitely not doing modern. I don't know how I'd do that. Um, and then she would just be a giant. I don't know if there are different kinds of giants. I don't know about the, the lore behind giants. So just a giantess, I guess, in general. Probably something like that. Uh, let's check Kofi real quick. I know some donations have come in. Hold on. Uh, where are we at? Um, Iron Pima donated and said, I agree with Celeste being six foot three. Funnily enough, one of the characters of mine, the, dra the dra Dragonian woman, Dragon Hybrid, Claudia, T Claudia Townsend, yes, that's how it's spelt, is the same height as Celeste. This is fitting as Celeste was the biggest inspiration for Claudia. Oh, cool. Oh, Claudia. Oh, cool. What do you know? Great minds think alike. That's actually pretty cool, though. Like, how they're actually the same height. It wasn't even intended. Let's see. When I, uh, Chogo donated someone, I checked your emails and found so many auditions already. I imagined this as you. Oh, when you checked your emails and found so many additions already, I, I imagined this was you. I sent it to your DMs. Please lower the volume just in case it's too loud. <laughs> All right, I'll look at it in a second. I, uh, I'm going to read through these real quick. Wicked Penguin donated and said, It's not a murder of crows unless there is a probable cause. Ah, <sighs> Bobby. All right, what's the next one, Bobby? What's the next one you got for me? He said, my wife dated a clown before she started going out with me. It's fair to say I have some pretty big shoes to fill. What if the clown had small shoes? We don't know. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, Master No donated and said, thanks to Shogo's reminder, I realized I never had the opportunity to ask you. What did he write in his letter signed in my name? Wait, he said, uh... Gosh, I don't know. I'm a bit wary because he tended to wrote some crazy imaginary stuff like feelings, human decency, or men and women friendships. Um, I don't remember. I, it's probably in my bin somewhere. It was probably, it probably said something like, oh, it's me, Masternode. I just wanted to, it, it was probably you saying nice things, I'm assuming. I don't think there was anything mean in there. So <laughs> you could take that with what you will. I don't remember since it was some time ago. Um, if it was written on, I think they printed out a piece of paper that was supposed to be you. Like, I think Shogo printed it out, and I think he wrote something on it. Well, I, 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 I can't remember if it was on the piece, the, the, the photo, or if it was on a separate piece of paper. But it's, it's somewhere in my bin. I don't know exactly what it said. <laughs> da, 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 da. Actually, here, actually, I think... Actually, wait, what was the thing? Oh, haha. <laughs> oh, that's from, uh, that's from... No, I know, I know, I know, I know what that show's from. That's, a uh, that's, a uh, that's Jim Carrey. I forgot what he played in. But that's, like, d isn't that when he tried to take God's job or something? I remember that show, girl. That's funny. <laughs> I 
Bobby donated and said, Katori, I'm not a competitive person. I'm the first to admit it. Ah, uh, yes, Bobby. <laughs> Crap, where did I leave off? Here we are, here we are, here we are. Here we are. Um... Cyberman donated and said, you got two trophies, one YouTube and one from me, Yahoo. <laughs> oh yeah, you made me that little, uh, it like lit up, right? It was made out of like blue acrylic. Ziggy Gamma donated and said, so what are you saying is your Rapunzel? Yeah, basically, people have called me that before. I think I told this story about like this little girl, she, I was at, um, when I was on vacation, she like called me Rapunzel, it was really cute. She like followed, she was like, she like pointed at me and like, like kept on wanting to talk to me. It was really cute. I love that. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Inept XIV donated and said, so how do we measure Lamia height? That is true too. Like, do you measure the whole tail? Because then she might be the tallest. Like actually like legit, if we're talking about like, if we're measuring her from the tip of her tail to the top of her head, she will most likely be taller than Tagger. Like that's, there's no way she's not. There's no way she's not. Yeah, she'd be the tallest. Like I guess Cyrene, Cyrene is the tallest, you guys. I don't, I mean, she is just, there's no way. There's no way. Even if Tiger is always taller than someone, there is no way that the, the Lamia does not win. She's definitely the tallest. So I guess it would go Cyrene if we're measuring the tip of her tail. I mean, I guess at standing height, like, you know, because a lot of her tail kind of trails behind her. She would not be taller than Tiger, but just like while she's in her resting standing position. But like if she like, if you laid her out, like, she would be way, way taller than Tagger. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Garrick Anderson donated and said, D&D &D has different types of giants. Cloud giants, hill giants, storm giants, etc. The list kind of goes on, but still it's up to you how she looks. She'd probably just live in a forest or, like, maybe the mountains or something. She probably wouldn't live in the clouds. Something like that. She'd probably live in that nature-y area somewhere. Yeah, I think that's what I'd pick. Oh, Natasha's right though. It says Lamia is, uh, you know, or Lamia or Cyrene is taller than Tagger unless she listens to the audios, making Tagger a foot taller. So she might, she literally, <laughs> she, if she listens to Tagger's audio then, what kind of loophole are we finding ourselves in there? I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, hold on, we have some donations. Hold on. Hold on. Shogo donated and said, you could just sit on my shoulders, Bats, then you could look down on people all day. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Wicked Penguin donated and said, What do you call a Swedish telemarketer? A Scandinavian. Gosh, I feel like these are like those like little books that you get like in middle school or like the third grade. Or like, you know, just like around that area, you know, like when you go to the school library and you, you like check out books that like are really useless or something. Like, you know what I mean? Just like you, you try to find fun books to check out because you don't want to actually read. <laughs> um, granted, I did. I didn't. I, gosh, what was the series that I read when I was a kid? I totally forgot what it was called. It had like this girl and she was like a scientist or something. But anyways, no, like you'd also like check out just like random books just for fun. Because you always want, you always like want to have like a variety at your desk. I'm really excited. And so I know some kids would check out joke books and they would like say them like they were clever. Somehow that reminded me of that. I don't know why. I wonder if that was something that was in the book. Uh... Thane donated and said, Between Master Node's shenanigans and Bobby's puns, I have a small headache. Katori, 
<laughs> Katori Chaos emote. Ibuprofen, my beloved. I hope you will like b both my accent and my GF's accent. Oh, yeah, you know, actually, your GF would have a different accent, wouldn't she? Because you guys live in different places. But no, that's re that's really cool then. I look forward to hearing it. And I hope your headache gets better. Hope your headache gets better. Ibuprofen certainly is a godsend. Indeed, indeed. Nah, ibuprofen has gotten me out of some pretty, pretty gnarly situations. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Hmm. How tall would be Neko? Honestly, I think Neko is small, even smaller than Katori, slightly. I don't know, I never really thought about it. Since I'm already short, I just never thought of anyone shorter than me other than the goblin GF. Obviously the, go obviously the goblin GF is like, you know, four foot, but Hmm. I don't know. I guess Neko could be shorter. I never really thought about it. I didn't really think about it. I mean, she's not like extremely tiny. I, I never pictured her that tiny. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to like, I'm gonna have to make like a size chart. That'd be kind of funny. Let's see. Garrick Anderson donated and said, you could do a holst holster? It's kind of like a minotaur. She could be the next tall GF, or maybe Amazons, or giant, or ice giants. You could start out with mini giantesses, and then kind of work your way into bigger GFs. I've, I've thought about Amazon, you know, Amazons, like the big ladies, big, big whammon. I haven't done that one yet, but maybe, maybe we'll do Amazons. Wait, hold on, let me, there's one more donation from Bobby. Bobby donated and said, what kind of horses come out after the sun sets? Nightmares. <laughs> Whenever I think of like horses being like nightmares, I always think of uh, Rise of the Guardians. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that show, but like there's like pitch, pitch black, and you had like those horses that were like made out of black sand. That's pretty cool. Gosh, I loved Rise of the Guardians. Dude, every girl had such a thing for Jack Frost. It wasn't even funny. He was voiced by, uh, uh, now what's his name? Oh no, I forgot his name. <gasps> he was also in the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Oh, what's his name? Oh my gosh, shame on me. Actually, I, I gotta look it up. I can't not know. Chris Pine. I knew it was Chris. I just didn't remember his last name. Totally forgot. You know what's so funny? I never really realized Chris Pine was that dude in the Princess Diaries. <laughs> I didn't ever realize that until like, I don't know why. I guess when I was a kid, I didn't pay much attention. But anyhow. Uh, Ziggy Gamma donated and said, you might be thinking of the Frankie K. Stein book. Uh, no. Uh, oh, Franny. Franny K. Stein. Was it Franny K. Stein? Hold on, is that really it? <gasps> it is! Oh my gosh, thank you! Dude, I remember these. Bro, I used to read these. That's crazy. Dude, this is like a fever dream. I mean, like, I, I mean, I knew it was real, but, like, I just, I couldn't remember the name of the book. Like, you know, Captain Underpants? I read Captain Underpants and Franny K. Stein and um, some of the Goosebumps books. Man, that's crazy. And obviously, I read the Harry Potter series when I was a kid. Man, that's crazy. I remember these. Garrick Anderson donated and said, If you do Amazons, do you plan on talking like the Amazonian woman from Futurama? Caveman, speak lol, or talking normal? Would it be also 
a would it also be fantasy a fantasy setting probably not uh well, well, well wait what am i saying of course it's gonna be a fantasy setting so i'm getting a little confused so yes i would definitely have it be a fantasy setting but she would most likely talk normally like she wouldn't be you know um what's the word she wouldn't be like speaking in grunts or some other language she would definitely be speaking like normally she would just be like any regular old big woman living in the hills or the mountains or the forest so yes wasn't chris pine also captain kirk and wonder uh maybe i didn't watch wonder woman um or at least the live action one so Chris Pine. Now, anytime I hear Chris Pine, I always think of Jack Frost. That's all I ever hear. Some, he, he honestly gave so much character. Like, and also when I was watching the Dungeons and Dragons, like it fit perfectly. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, this sounds just like Jack Frost. It was so weird. But no, he's a good actor. I like his stuff. Well, at least the stuff I've seen him in. I haven't seen all it. I don't like religiously follow everything he's ever been in, but at least the stuff I've seen him in, I've liked. Jinx, I know. I thought I want <laughs> J Rock starts like, please do more Jinx. I do. I did like doing Jinx. Doing her voice was um, it was really fun to kind of figure out like her speech pattern and like how she would go about something, um, or how she would say how she would like go about saying things, especially with like how her mind can kind of wander off. You know, you have to be like unhinged in a way, but not like so unhinged that it's like hard to listen to. Um, but no, uh, yeah, I um, I do want to do more of her for sure. I might wait around to season two of Arcane just to kind of see where I want to go with things. Or also just it might hype me up more to like, it might give me some more ideas, I suppose, of what to do with her. I know a lot of people really want me to do like a really like sad route. And I don't think I want to do that. I think Arcane, because I, I see, I've seen some interviews of people talking about Arcane and how... The second season is honestly just going to be sad. Like the ending is not going to be happy. And they don't worry. There's no spoilers. Obviously, so they they can't. They don't want to give out spoilers. It's not even out yet. But they were just saying like someone's like, oh yeah, like I was sad, and I was like, oh my gosh. So I I definitely want to, regardless if that interview is true or not, I do want to make it like a happy series. You know what I mean? Like in some other all the like other parallel universe if jinx just had some someone to intervene or had some outlet some way where she could you know just like not go off the deep end like that you know like it would actually work out somehow like that'd be pretty cool you know and i yeah so i just want something where i'm not gonna cry because <laughs> i'm really attached to jinx now like i am so attached to her i i I've like, I'm, I've, you know, I've, I like, I cosplayed as her multiple versions, you know, I have so much memorabilia. I bought, I bought, I, I got a hex core necklace, you guys. I cannot. I have to do something where she's happy. <laughs> I have to. But anywho. Oh yeah, also my vocal cords. Yeah, that also is gonna suck, Bobby. That is gonna hurt. That is definitely gonna hurt. <sighs> Cookery said, I only cry when you personally attack me with, oh, you make really cool art, or oh, you're too hard on yourself. I love you. <laughs> Cookery. That just means people care. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I mean, I know some people really wanted to like go down the route of like after bad things happen, whatever. Like, I just, I don't want that. It's, it's, it's gonna be in some weird parallel universe where Silco doesn't get yeeted. Nobody gets yeeted. Everything's somehow weirdly fine. Now, how's that gonna work out if we end up having Jinx meet Vi? I, honestly, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what weird loophole I'm gonna find, but for now, it's just gonna be sunshine and rainbows and Selko's gonna be this weird dad, I guess, because that's just how it's gonna be. Oh. <sighs> 
Oh, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to yawn. I know some people like literally get tired, so I apologize. <laughs> oh wait, hold up. We have a donation. Hold on. Hold on. Crap. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Why is it? Yeah. Why isn't this loaded? Kofi's being slow today. Um, Wicked Penguin donated and said, I saw two gentlemen on the street arguing over a bus pass. It was a fair fight. He also donated and said, I finally found a genie in a bottle. I asked him if he if it would be possible to change French positives to Spanish. He replied, we shall see. <sighs> well, Bobby, I'll give you credit. Somehow you're, you're still somehow keeping them coming. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I expected Jinx, the Jinx series, to end with the listener dying. I don't know why, but I did, and that was what sent her off into a crazy land. Natasha, no. I mean, I, I mean, obviously that would be an interesting, like, concept to have, right? Like, that's why she went crazy. But we are going to keep things very happy. Very, very happy. They are not gonna go to sad land. Jinx is not gonna go- this, this is- this is the redemption arc where Jinx does not go to crazy land. She actually gains some sanity, surprisingly. Also, if you guys heard that loud noise, don't worry, it was my sister. She had to grab something. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, yeah. We're gonna keep things- yeah, but no, th man, that would be like a tragedy, wouldn't it? Like the one shining ray of hope that the that Jinx has ends up like getting offed, and then therefore that's what sends her off into like a spiral. That'd be super depressing. It would be a compelling story for sure. Like that would be super cool. But we're gonna try to make people happy and myself. Um, Smee said, "In a world where you don't need to worry about Jinx having an episode when she needs to decide between you, Vi, and Silco, and you get shot in the face." Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna have that. There's gonna be no deciding. It's just gonna be some weird, like, it's gonna, I don't know. Maybe Vi and Jinx will never cross paths in this roleplay, which I guess, I don't know if that's considered happy or not, but like, maybe they will, maybe it'll be some weird truce thing. Like, just some weird truce thing going on. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. There's, I have no idea. But we will figure it out as we go along. She goes on a field trip with Zuko and has a redemption arc. Yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> She's like, who's slamming in there? Yeah, it was my sister. She came down. I was like, I kind of looked at her. I was like, what are you doing? But um, she she's working on something right now. And there's some things in the basement that she probably needed, so... She's, you know, she she came and she went. And sadly, the doors down here, they're, like, not lined up well. So when they, in order to close them, they literally, you have to pull. So that's what you were hearing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. And I just had spicy ramen too. I made some ramen with some chili oil and then I had a mochi. I bought some mango mochis from the Asian grocery store and I forgot I had them in the fridge so I had one. Oh and I also made lemonade. I made pink lemonade today. True pink lemonade by the way. If you want to make like real like natural pink lemonade the easiest way to do it at least for me with what I have is um just make regular lemonade and then I make a little bit of the blue tea that I have it's like pH sensitive and you pour a little bit of that in there and it makes it pink so tell Kiwi we said hoy I'll tell her you guys said hoy later she's not down here anymore but I shall tell her you all said hello
Garrick Anderson donated and said, I was somewhat disappointed with the first Wonder Woman movie because it took place during World War I and portrayed certain historical figures as evil. Yeah, I didn't really watch it. I'm not super big on live action superhero movies. I like animated ones better, so I don't I don't know exactly how she was portrayed at all. But I know some people liked it. I know one of our favorite movies we've seen this year was Wonka. That was that was a good movie. Very good movie. Wonka was such a good chap. Honestly, my sister was like, that's 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 a man. <laughs> She literally wants someone who just owns a chocolate shop. Her dream is to have unlimited candy, so I guess that's what made him perfect. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, wait, hold up. We have some donations. Hold on. Um... Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said, What do you call someone who's really good at darts? Amy. <laughs> of course, Bobby, of course. <laughs> Let's see. Master No donated and said, It is one of my it is one of my late, latest dilemmas. I could go to the Forchi? What is this? Forche? Oh, that's an animation company, isn't it? I could go to the... I don't know how to pronounce it, so I, I apologize. Forch Studios and maybe get a signed artwork for you. A nice present. But to reach the place, I would have to go through this rat-filled urine-smelling junkyard. That is Paris. Are you worth this perilous trip? If so, prove it. <laughs> well, Master Note, that is very sweet of you if you do want to get that for me. I'd really, I mean, that'd be actually amazing. I, I'm, I actually apologize that I uh, mispronounced that. I don't know if I've ever actually knew how to pronounce that, but I totally forgot that there were a lot of animation places at- Oh, it's the thing that animated! That's what animated Arcane, right? I'm sorry. I should know this. <laughs> that's so cool. That's really in France. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, if, uh, I mean, if, if that, if you, if you do not want to do the perilous journey through France, you do not need to. However, if you do get that to me, I will be very, very much grateful. That'd be very nice. That'd be super cool to have. So yeah, that would be super awesome get assigned artwork like do they just sign artworks there is that something you can do man that would be awesome but yeah obviously master out only do it if you can i know you're having some issues of your own right now with something literally blowing up so um no granted i don't uh yeah that'd be really cool if you do decide to do the perilous trip i would definitely be very thankful But yeah, no, make sure to take care of your blown up car first. Is that what blew up? I don't know. I know something something happened. So, but no, that'd be very, very cool. Wicked Penguin donated and said, Why did the wood carving take so long? Because they would have... Because <laughs> they, ha because they have to be done whittle by whittle. It took me a second. I literally had to force myself to say it. <laughs> I already saw it when I read ahead. And I was like, oh gosh. Garrick Anderson donates and missed one of my chats. Oh no, I'm sorry. Hold on. Sorry, the chat sometimes flies up, so I might miss it. Oh, here it is. Garrick Anderson donated and said, Do you think Amazonian GF would be shy around the listener or awkward, like it would be her first time expressing an interest in someone? Um, I think she'd be pretty chill. I think she'd actually just be afraid to scare you. You know, she'd just be afraid that she would be scary to you because, you know, she's so big. She'd probably be really gentle about, like, what she's doing. If that makes any sense. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I stayed up late last night and then I got woken up early by accident, so. Mm -hmm. 
Master said, if someone would take the trip all the way to the studios, I can't see a reason of why they would refuse to sign something. I guess not. I just figured, like, I don't know, like, you just, like, I don't know. Like, you just walk in there? Like, you just go to the studios and you'll walk in and they're just like, howdy there, stranger. We could, we'll sign this for you. Like, does that, like, I, I mean, granted, I, I've never attempted to do anything like that. So I wouldn't know, but I just figured that you would have to, like, I don't know, like, try to call someone so that way they'd let you in. I don't know. I don't know, but I mean, obviously you know more about Paris than I do, Master Notes, so, you know, if that is something that's actually possible, that'd be super cool. <laughs> Natasha said the Amazon GF would wonder why a little baby whammon is out when I'm not a baby. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, look at this little, look at this little gal. Look how little she is. Look how little she is. Let's see. <laughs> Kokori said, just remember Katori, when New Ohio tries to, oh, when Ohio tries to take over the world, I won't stand with you like Link stood by his queen instead of Zelda. <laughs> Kokri, come on. Come with the revolution. You can do it. How was my day, Jack? My day was good. Busy, but good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was trying not to yawn. I really tried. <sighs> it's too late. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. Guess you guys just have to be sleepy. Uh, Cyberman donated and. I guess this is a role play between me and Coriala, which that's the mermaid girl, uh, mermaid GF. So I'll try and see if I can. Okay, I think there's. I think the comma is separated. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Man, at this, <laughs> it's been forever since we. You know, I wonder. If, it's been forever since we did. Hey, mermaid, right? Isn't there like May like the mermaid month or something? Maybe I'll do some extra mermaid stuff on Patreon. That'd be cool. But let's see. Um, so I say, Wow, Coriel, who got all this stuff? From Cyburn. He got tired of me being stuck in the tub, so he put me here. Well, that's good, but how do you pay for all this? He said you helped him with something called a debit card? A what? Oh my gosh, Cyberman, you taking my debit card? Well, I was gonna say you're gonna wrap, well, at least it's not my credit. If you put too much on the credit, you're really in trouble. My credit score would get, but you know. Cyburn, you can't be stealing people's cards. Or you get punished. <laughs> Let's see. Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said, Why did the coward suddenly feel brave after touching a rock? Because he felt a little bolder. I saw that one coming. <laughs> Try harder. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. Yes, I shall do it. <laughs> Natasha's like, the Amazon GF says, Aw, look at the little baby. And she's like, me, 5'10", screaming. <laughs> That's cute. Garrick Anderson donated instead. Got another idea. Pinkerton GF, where she is an... 
in a nice suit with a badge with a city background. She mistakes the listener for a person she is searching. Pinkerton. What is that? Hold on. Oh, security guard company. Oh. I had no idea what that was. I was like, what the heck? Ah, oh, okay. So she's like a security guard person in a suit. Do, 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 do. I want another mochi. <sighs> I still got some of this stuff down here. I, I, there was so, I got sent so much stuff last time I wasn't able to sort. I, I tried to sort through it all, but I just didn't. I kind of just couldn't sort through everything. Oh my gosh. I forgot I had this. It's cool. I forgot I had this. Oops. Oh, is that a light? My bad. Didn't know this opened. Pop quiz. Which show- Well, what is the show Arcane called? Wait a minute. I said the name. Oh. Yeah, I, I would say Arcane is Arcane. You know? Arcane is Arcane. If I do say so myself. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> That's just said, I guess I'll come out of the walls and bring down a mochi. Let's go. Let's go. I like those mango mochis. They were good. They were good. They had like a little bit of like some kind of marshmallow stuff in there too. It was like a, a very thin layer, but it was it was pretty good. Mhm. Mm mhm. Oh, also, y'all, I know like everyone like can't stand when I bring up Baldur's Gate, but this is interesting. Um, I'm playing a Dark Urge playthrough with my siblings, and in this one, I'm romancing Will, and it's so cute. It's so wholesome. Um, at first I thought he totally forgot about me because at camp like to start to like get the romance path going You have to ask him to dance and stuff like that And then he declines because he was feeling tired or not too well But he appreciated it and he's like oh we'll dance sometime or maybe some other night or something And then he and then he like said like oh but go have fun you know da 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 So like it wasn't mean or anything it was totally fine but um But then anyways uh what's the word um I, I like all I, I going through like the story like in the we long resting all the time we finally get to act two and I'm like bro he said nothing to me like he hasn't even brought up the fact that like we like were like romantically involved I'm like dude I'm like I man I guess I'm just gonna have to start romancing someone else like maybe maybe it's not working maybe I didn't do what I needed to do to start romancing Will and then literally that long rest um he was like he literally dances he dances with you he got some moves Will can dance. The boy can dance. And I was like, let's go. I know, it was really cute. It was really cute. So it'd be interesting to see what Will's, Will's romance, uh, you know, um, is like. So, no, I thought that was really interesting. Cause I've seen people talk about Will like dancing and I was like, I didn't get any dance scene, but I finally did. And I was like, all right. So it was, I don't know, just, just a little update. You know, it's interesting to see like different storylines and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> Can I interest you in a lovely cuppa instead? A cup of tea? Sure. I like tea. <gasps> Maybe he thinks I'm cringe. Mr. Smee, he thinks I'm beautiful. <laughs> he said, never mind. <laughs> never mind to what? Your last comment? Will thinks I'm lovely. Do, 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 do. Where there is a will, there is a way. Yes, yes, there is. But no, yeah, it was just, it was just, I mean, again, it's just like a little quip, nothing like super big, but like, it was just an interesting thing. I thought it was, I thought it was so funny and ironic that I was like, well, I guess the only option is to just, you know, cause I mean, in this playthrough, I'm not taking it seriously. I just kind of want to have fun. So I was like, well, I guess I'll just romance Lizelle tomorrow. Cause she's the only other person that wants to romance me. And then literally it cuts to, to Will dancing. I'm like, let's go. He did not forget about me. Dang. Let's see. Um, you could both be cringe and beautiful. That is true, Natasha. I guess so. So, hmm. <laughs> I 
Let's see. Uh, Cooker said, I don't know, Katori. You know Gale and Will all... You know Gale and Will are all over... Oh, wait, you know Gale and Will all over me too as well as Shadowheart and Bazel. I'm with Karlek, but the Kokri is too much to handle apparently. No, dude, that happened to me too! Like, everybody likes you and I didn't know what to do. I was like, holy smokes! Like, I felt so bad because me and Karlek are homies. Like, I, I love her like she's my big sister and like she... Evidently, I had enough- I- this didn't happen my last playthrough, but evidently, I had enough approval where she- she, like, came on to me and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna hurt her feelings. I felt so bad! But I was like, sorry, bro. I'm like, sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. But we're still- we're still homies. We're still homies. But I felt so bad. I felt so bad. Although I did- I- because I- <laughs> I know she does this little fist bump thing and says yes if you say yes to her. Like, you know, like, um... So, I felt so bad for not romancing her. I felt so bad because she felt she looked so sad. <sighs> but no, I think I'm gonna romance Carla like, at least once because I know you get to go like you get to like actually go on a, a, a date with her, like actually like a restaurant date, which I think is so freaking cute. So I will eventually romance Carla like, just to see what happens. Um, but yeah, no, um, I don't know. Ismi said, yeah, when he asked me to dance for some reason, I thought he would have wanted to do, like, some kind of raven dance, but he put his hand on my waist, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, quick oh my, oh my gosh, that's funny. Yeah, it just depends. I mean, obviously, well, well, did you give him, did you give him a little kiss, Mr. Shmi? Did you give him a little kiss? Because you can. Will is a gentleman. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's see. Dan Gaining Fan donated and said, First, you looked beautiful in the competition announcement. Well, thank you. And he said, I didn't realize your hair was so long. Second, I'm really excited for the competition. Yeah, I'm excited too. I'm excited to see all the entries and stuff and, um, you know, how things will go. You know, I, I've never done anything like this before or held an event like this before. So it might be a little wonky, but we're going to do our best. I think it'll be really fun. All right, let's look at the, uh, do, 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 do. where are we at here? Hold up, there's some donations I missed. Uh, here we are. Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said, Katori, why isn't the 24th of July a holiday? Are we really expected to work 20, 24 seven? Ah, yes. Shrugo donated and said, No, best girl, your yawns can warm even the coldest of hearts and help them feel the sun again. They're the... E Wait, what? They're the... E I've never seen this. Maybe I've seen this word before, but I've never seen it spelled out. Equinim is this a word? It is! I learned something new today. Equa Equanimity? Equanimity? It's mental calmness. Huh, I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Equanimity or even, or even fall. Oh, the equanimity of even fall and the illusion of my reality. I had to write a poem about them so you'd stop apologizing. That's how much I love them. <laughs> okay, well, all right. Well, I'm glad that they don't burden you, Chogo. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. All right, let's see. Iron Piedmont donated and said, The Pinkertons were originally part of the Pinkerton Detective Agency founded by Alan Pinkerton in 1850. They were most notable for the intelligence in protecting President Abraham Lincoln during the Civil War. Later, they were used for combating workers' unions. Huh. I did not know that. Getting a little bit of history lessons today. Bobby, or Wicked Penguin, donated and said, I have a friend who really hates living in the center of the USA. She says she's in a constant state of misery. No offense to anyone who actually lives there. <laughs> misery. Oh, actually, I've never been to Missouri. Oh, Kuroneko! Oh my goodness, thank you so much for the $50. That's so generous of you. Let's see, he said, no big dono today. Well, that's a pretty big dono, it's still a big dono. He said, no big dono today, as I recently became the wedding coordinator for my cousin. Ooh, 
He will be the first of our generation to make this step when we all want it to be perfect, which is also the main reason for my prolonged absence. I hope to be active again after the wedding, though. Oh, well, that's congratulations. I hope you guys have a marvelous time, and I hope everything, you know, goes smoothly. I know weddings can be, like, you know, a lot to plan, especially if you're going to be the wedding coordinator. So, you know, make sure, don't overwhelm yourself, and, um, yeah, I hope, congratulations. I, I hope it's an amazing event. And um, we shall await your return, Kuro. And again, thank you so much for the donation. It's 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 it is still a big dono. Don't you worry. Very much appreciated. So yeah, thank you so much for stopping by, even though you've been busy. We hope to see you again soon. Unless you're gonna stick around. If you're gonna stick around, then I won't say bye. But in case you're gonna go, thank you for stopping by, Kuro. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, JG, thank you so much for the peach. <laughs> Is that a peach emoji? Natasha Phoenix, oh, Phoenix sorry, donated and said, As a Missourian, accurate. Oh no! Do not be miserable, Natasha. Do not be miserable. Cyberman don't- oh, so thank you for the little angel- oh, it's like a little, um, like, the holy emoji. It has like a little halo, halo emoji. Thank you for the emoji. Garrick Anderson donated and said, What would be the most unlikely funny yet- what, what would be the most unlikely yet funny place for an Amazon GF to work? Or what kind of job do you think would be the best for Amazon GF? Probably just somewhere- that has a lot of space because she's so big so i feel like she'd have to work in an area where she wouldn't be cramped maybe she'd be good at i really don't know <laughs> it has to be somewhere where there's big open spaces maybe if she worked on a farm or something i i don't know i mean she could definitely move things easily but you know obviously wherever she's moving the stuff it would have to be an open space Natasha's the goddess of weddings? Oh my goodness. If anybody needs uh, wedding advice, I guess you just go to Natasha. Wicked Penguin donated and said, I asked Kuroneko if he could tell me the square foot of 81. He said nine. Oh my gosh. Bobby. Bobby, no, don't bring Kuro into your dad jokes. Don't make it this be his fate. Don't do this to him, Bobby. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. <laughs> but yes, y'all. Wait. So what are you... So wait, what did Kuro said, so what are you, Nat? Is that I need to invite you to mine and Katori's wedding? Got it. <laughs> Ayo! Man, Kuro's pretty confident, you guys. He's pretty confident. <laughs> Nine. Okay, at least he got a kick out of it. <laughs> Pin you're the goddess of pinatas full of bees? That's, uh, uh, well, that's, that's quite a, that's quite a thing you got there, Natasha. <clears throat> Whoa, Soul, thank you so much for the $30, oh, sorry, $30, $50, I don't know why I said 30 He said, just got, oh, just got done pushing dirt up a hill for seven hours, and it was a good time. Also, Amazon construction worker? I mean, maybe, yeah, she could move stuff easily. So, but yeah, no, my goodness, pushing up dirt up a hill for seven hours. My gosh, make sure you get some rest, soul. But no, thank you, thank you so much for $50. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, make sure to get some rest after your very hard, very hard day of work. Um, he even said, and it was a good time. <laughs> it's like, yeah, pushing up dirt up the hill seven hours was a good time. Um, but no, I guess that could work. Yeah, like her... Like, moving things physically outside would definitely fit her, you know, since she's so big. So, hey, you know, there's an idea. <laughs> but no, thank you so much, Zol. I hope you're having a marvelous, marvelous day. Thank you, thank you. 
Ty donated and said, been 17 months since you called me Smee. Well, hey, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good now. I don't know what the heck was going on back then. I, I really couldn't tell you. Don't know why I mixed that. I don't know why I mixed that up. I really don't. It was really weird. It was like weird. I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. Cookery said, let's see. I've asked Katori on a date to see Elf in theaters. Piggy sent a husband resume. Crow is planning the wedding and Nat is already living in the walls. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, some people have sent a lot of, I think Dick does you also sent a resume. Multiple people have sent resumes. It's, 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 it's an interesting situation we have going on here. <laughs> right. In Natasha's in the walls. That's just don't forget Kokiri. I'm the only person she's ever actually agreed to go on a date with. <laughs> this is funny. Let's see. Garrick Anderson donated and said, I think the Amazon would be great in a tavern with indoor and outdoor seating. She'd be a server as well as a bouncer in case patrons get rowdy. I feel like she'd have to be half a giant or oh, I, guess she, I guess Amazon and Amazon not a giantess I guess Amazon woman or just big women they don't they're not giants so I guess she could fit in an indoor outdoor thing so I guess that would work yeah because I guess like when you asked before what where, where would Amazon GF work I guess I was thinking of a giant versus an Amazon so I guess like I could see her chopping wood but yeah, she could also work at a tavern. Or construction, you know? <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. I know, Master Node, I know. I know I'm supposed to call Dick Desu, but he's traveling right now. He's traveling, like, in Thailand and Japan. Like, I don't know when the heck I could even call him if I were. It's like, I mean, he's, he's like in different time zones now. We'd have to wait for him to return. But I know, I know, I know. He actually gave his phone number. I think some other people gave their numbers too. But, um, I know he was the first on the list. Oh yeah, by the way, if everything go going as well, uh, going as planned, my audition should arrive tomorrow. Crow Neko's auditioning? Let's go! A lot of people have auditioned. This is really cool. It's cool to see everybody auditioning. It's really cool to listen to them all. All right, let's go, Kuro. I look forward to it. I look forward to it. I think I'm, I think have I heard your voice, Kuro? I can't remember if I've heard your voice. Oh, wait, I have. We played Apex together, right? I think we played Apex once. You had like you had like a you had like that very um. It sounded German, but I know you're from Austria. Ya boy donated and said, Amazon warehouse worker at an Amazon warehouse. Oh my gosh, that'd be funny. She works for Amazon. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Garrick Anderson donated and said, Amazonian woman generally seven to eight feet tall mostly. Yeah, I guess I guess you'd have to have high ceilings if she worked in a place without high ceilings. Like, you know, like, like a regular establishment. I can see that. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm not supposed to apologize, but I'm sorry anyways because I know some people actually do get tired. So yeah, let's see. Um, hold on. I got so many tabs up. Why do I have all these tabs up? Let's get rid of Chris Pine. <laughs> I forgot I looked him up. That's funny. Yeah. No. There's um. Yeah, I wonder how many additions I've gotten so far. I really have no idea. There's quite a few. Kuroneko said, yeah, but it's been like two years ago, Katori. Whoa, no, two years. You've been here for two years, Kuro. It's awesome. And we do speak German in Austria, just a different kind. Hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry, Thane. Hurt your ears. Got you. Um. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess an Austrian accent, Mr. Smee. My bad. Um, mm, let's see. Uh, that's weird. Didn't. Huh. No, no I was just checking out my. Um, let me get rid of that. Did that fix it? That's weird. It's not showing my microphone input. I wanted to make sure it wasn't too loud, but for some reason it's not showing the volume going up and down, so I'm hoping you guys can still hear me for the love of God. Uh, anywho. Like American and British- oh, I get it. American and British English? Okay. Then man, it must be really different. Oh no, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, Curl. I don't want to give you tinnitus! <laughs> Gosh dang. Alright. Let me look at Kofi. Hold on. Um, Cyber donated and said, Katori chasing Cyber with a bat. How and she said, How dare you steal my money? And Cyber said, I'll pay you back in donations. And then uh, I'm assuming I say the next line. It doesn't say I say the next line. I'm assuming I do. And it says, no, you will work me forever until you pay me back. It says, now come back here and feel my five foot one rage. So everyone said, no, please have mercy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fine, get to work. What am I going to put you to what, what am I, I guess, I guess, what would I have you work on to like make back all the payments? Because that'd be a lot of payments, man. I don't know. I guess I would have you like. Uh, I don't really know. There's not a lot of manual labor to do over here. <laughs> we figure something out. Wicked Penguin donated and said, "My coworker Celsius needed to take some time off, so they hired a guy called Kelvin to cover for him. He's the new temp. Last one, I promise. Oh my gosh, Bobby. Well, thank you for the last one." <laughs> Iron Piedmont donated and said, Hopefully I'll have my audition to you either Monday or Tuesday, waiting for the right time to record due to being busy and tired most of the time. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, we still got time. But uh, no, I look forward to it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ooh. Yeah, you're right, Kurel. I'm sure the dating show will make a lot of memes. I'm really excited to see those. It's been a while since we've had, like, a bunch of memes to look at. Really funny. <laughs> After the dating game submissions are done, can I send the alternate one I did as Waluigi just for laughs? Um, if you want to, sure. I mean, uh, I don't know if I'll, uh, hopefully, I, I should hopefully be able to, you know, get around to listening to it. But, um, yeah, you, yeah, you can, you can send it if you'd like. It's up to you. <laughs> Man, I wonder how this is gonna go. I hope I can actually make it be, like, neat. You know what I mean? Like, actually everything goes smooth and according to plan. Obviously, we all know that that's, you know, a little bit, you know, too much to hope for. Especially with the first time, this is the first time I'm posting something like this, but... Um, you know, hopefully we can have everything, like, in the dating show, like, go well and, like, not be all over the place. So, we shall see. We shall see. Hopefully the internet is kind. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't think there's anything else I was gonna say. Um, sounds like the merch isn't in yet. Uh, I, I... It's been a while since it's been in production, so I don't know why they haven't shipped it out yet. So I'm still waiting for that to be shipped out. Hmm. Mm hmm. And usually at this point, I'm always talking about like, oh yeah, I'm working on the dating show thing. But hey, it's out now. It's out now. So we're just waiting for submissions. And then once that closes on Wednesday, it will close on Wednesday at midnight. Um, I will, uh, wait, what midnight Eastern Standard Time? Um, I will, uh have to sort through all the emails. <laughs> That'll be a time. Oh, the Greater Scope villain donated and said, what's sweet, green, and a tasty dessert? Grogurt. 
<laughs> oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> Cookery said, when can I leak my audition? I want to share how bad I bombed or at least share with Natasha. You can share your audition whenever you want. I don't mind if you share your audition. Um, the only thing that's being kept secret is who gets to be the contestant, you know, until the dating show airs um, or until it's live. I say airs like we're going on TV until it's live. Um, but yeah, if you ever if you ever want to show your audition, like I don't mind. It's, it's yours. It's your audition that you made. So um, it's not like the questions are a secret either. So yeah, you know, you can share it to your heart's content. <laughs> so yeah. You can show your audition to whoever you like. You can post it. Whatever you want to do. As long as if you end up winning as a contestant, just don't, you know, make sure to keep it a secret until, you know, we actually have the dating show be live. If that makes sense. So. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, so like just you know as i said reminder uh, the dating show submissions will close on you know this coming wednesday at midnight est um if you're just hearing about this new dating show uh it's gonna be it's supposed to like commemorate the 100k sub you know 100k subscribers that we have here it's just like a little way to celebrate it there's a video that details everything and it has all the questions and stuff like that and if you have any questions just email you not email sorry just you know uh write your you can ask it in the uh not description, what I'm saying, the comment section. Um, yeah, the con well, the confirmation will be sent out after the deadline, but I don't know when the confirmation will be sent to you because I don't know how long it's going to take me to sort through all the different... Uh, I don't know how many submissions I'm going to get. But I will say this, when I do decide... Um, when I do decide who's going to be on the show, I will announce that I have emailed you guys. So you will know when when the email will be sent out as to whether or not you got chosen as a contestant. I will announce it like on my channel or on Twitter or, or probably on both. On both, I'll probably put out an announcement like either in the community tab or a tweet on Twitter saying, hey, just want to let you guys know I emailed the contestants, you know, check and see if you got an email and um, just email me back. So I will let you know when I email it out, but I don't know when those emails are gonna go out because I don't know how long it's gonna take me to listen through all the different submissions. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah, we've reached the end of the stream, y'all. Um, we usually um, always end right around eight. And for those who are new here, I don't know if there's any newcomers. I don't know if I've seen anybody saying they were new, but in case you don't know, my mother does like to come down and say hello before I end. So she is, what are you doing? She's messing with something right now, but she's down here to say hello before we end the stream. <laughs> hello, everyone. Victoria was so busy. Keep on talking that I just got sidetracked. But hello. Keep on talking. I was explaining <laughs> the dating show. I hope you're all having fun with your submissions for the dating show. And I just have to say, if you haven't submitted to the dating show, then why not? I mean, it's all for fun. So why not get in there and... You know, give it a try. I mean, you just never know unless you try, right? So, give it a try. And um, I hope you're all doing well here. Anyone who's in school, it's starting to wind down. So, I hope you're doing well in school. And those of you who um, aren't in school, I hope you're doing well with either your job or job hunting. And um, don't forget, I put out prayer requests every Wednesday for anybody who wants them. So... Be sure to let me know because it's people have been sort of quiet about that lately and i know you guys need prayers so come on and um i don't know who will win that will all be up to katori i i can't wait to see it myself i i i'm <laughs> i'm so excited and you know i i heard her say before i came down that you know anyone can just put their put their um auditions out there you know if they want to like they don't have to keep it a secret so i would i I would love to oh hear some of them, so put them <laughs> out there on Twitter. I want to hear them. But, um, yeah, I know, uh, wait, can you be a judge or runner-up for the dating show? I don't know if I'll do runner-ups. Um, if, if I end up getting, like, a lot of good submissions and I feel like I can do a second dating show, maybe I will. Or maybe I'll add more contestants than I originally planned. I'm not sure. Um, but either we'll, either we'll have, I don't know if we'll do, like, runner-ups. I don't know how that'll work. Um, and no, there's gonna be no other judges. I am the final judge. It might make things too complicated. I mean, obviously, if I had, if, if, if this was a bigger thing, then maybe other judges would be a thing. But since this is like a smaller thing, I think that I'll just have, <laughs> it'll make it, we'll just make it more simple. Um, 
I don't know, interesting idea of cookery. Ty donated and said, going golfing at the drive range next week. Wish me luck. God bless you all and love you all. Well, thank you, Ty, and good luck on your golfing. I hope that goes well for you. And, uh... Okay, I think I have read all the Kofis, so I think we're good. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Everyone's talking about their auditions, so... I, I'm interested because I, I know that people can either just do their audition is in their own voice or they can do it as a character. So I, I'm just curious as to how many of you decided to use your own voice, how many of you decided to use a character. And um, I, I just think it would be cool just to have a just to, just to listen to the auditions, mm -hmm. you know. All right, hold on. We got two things from Masternode. So let's see. It's a, oh, two, it, it's a two part donation. So we'll read them together. He said, I have a grief against you. Uh, against who? Against me. Oh. Well, he said grief against you, Katori. Oh. So I, I just said I just said it like as in I was talking to myself. Oh. But I have a grief against you, Katori. I've been meeting a lady lately, yet every time I'm looking at myself in the mirror, my reflection is questioning my decision, knowing she isn't the one I truly desire. Well, that's not really my problem. How is that my problem? Well, if, 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 <laughs> Since I'm physically incapable of blaming Mama Tori for anything, I consider you to be indirectly responsible for this feeling of emptiness I have in my chest. My standards would never have become so high without meeting Mama Tori. I would never meet Mama Tori without you. Yeah, well, I guess keep on feeling that grief, buddy, because you're going to keep on feeling that hole in your chest for a long time. <laughs> but Master Note, there's so many lovely ladies out there that I'm sure would love your very witty, clever, and sometimes condescending comments. I'm sure they would just, you know, I'm sure someone out there would love your sense of humor. It would be, you know, I'm sure somewhere in France, maybe not Paris, because I know you hate Paris, you gotta find that true special lady that will not make you feel like that when you look in the mirror. I just want to, um, did, did, did Master Note put a thing in? What? Did Master Node put it in? I don't, no, I don't think he did. I don't think he's going to. Oh, that would be interesting. I don't, I don't think he does. I, think he's <laughs> I don't think Master Node is going to subject himself to that. I don't think Master Node's going to want to audition for a dating show. <laughs> for me. You know what I mean? I think that would go against everything he's ever said. You know? Oh. He's like, you know, I mean, he said, you know, I'm not, I'm not here. I'm just here for the entertainment. You know, right. I'm not. Right. So I think if he auditioned, he'd be like, you know going against everything that he has, you know, believed in for all this whole time. <laughs> to be fair, I have a higher chance. No one has a chance. There is no <laughs> higher chance. I don't know what y'all are talking about. if I was going to have to have a dating show, I would have to have it for much older men. Right? You guys are all around Katori's age, so that's, that's where you're supposed to be looking, right? <laughs> the Greater Scope villain donated and said, Another joke for a EP Katori, unless it's creepy in EP Katori. What does Mama Tori slash Mama Tori always tiptoe past? Wait, why does Mama Tori always tiptoe past the medicine cabinet? She didn't want to wake up the sleeping pills. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> had, Katori doesn't like dad I've jokes, had, well, but I, I think they're so funny. I've had so many dad jokes today. I've had so many dad jokes today. Let's see. I can guarantee one thing that whoever gets chosen, the show itself will become a memorable event. Yeah, yeah, it's it just, it'll just be, oh yeah, like your wedding with the Dark Reaper. I don't know where he went. He's gone. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all, I think that's about it. We got, we definitely got, I was wondering when Master Note was going to say something about my mama. I was just waiting for it. But <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's about everything. I don't. Mr. Smee, you're not nearing your 60s. I've seen you. <laughs> I've seen your face. If you're in your 60s, man, I don't know what kind of skin well, treatment yeah, you're yeah, doing. If, you're in your, if you are in your 60s, bravo. Bravo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you did that, Mr. Smee. The congratulations to you. He's in your basement, Kuro? Dark Reaper is? Well, you know, I guess that makes sense. But all right, y'all, I will, um, uh, oh, uh, Mr. Wanapon donated and said goodbye, good night, and I hope you like my submission. Well, I look forward to it, Mr. Wanapon. Thank you so much for entering. I wish you would let me listen to them all, but she and won't. I, I do, there's so many. There's no way. There would be not Share enough time. Share them with me. I want to hear them. Uh, Garrick Anderson said, miss my chat. Oh, no. 
sorry, there was a lot going on. Um, oh, Garrick Anderson donated and said, by the way, you folks finish those root beers? Uh, we have one left. We finished uh, most of them. We thought the donut one tasted the most interesting, mm -hmm. um, but uh, we still have one root beer left savoring it <laughs> we, don't, we don't we don't usually have a lot of pop in this house you know we just it's not really something we drink so we don't so we just everybody's been just pouring it like little shot glasses <laughs> and sharing see it. we don't take shots of alcohol we take shots of pop <laughs> let's see uh the greatest goat villain donated and said ep is short for the term sleepy internet slang oh, oh i had no idea i didn't either <laughs> but yeah y'all uh i think that's about it again remember submissions end this wednesday it's coming wednesday on um midnight and uh yeah that's about it for announcements i don't really have anything else going on except for just waiting for the merchandise to finally get shipped here um <laughs> and yeah i will see you all this coming this coming next saturday <laughs> i love umbrella academy i wonder if they're gonna come with a final season i don't know last season really sucked well i don't know i mean it wasn't as good as the first ones but i i still would like to see another one it was ruined for me well, it died. I mean, yeah, there, yeah, there was p parts about it that I didn't like. It died. But I loved the first couple seasons. The first one was the yeah, best. Yes, definitely. <laughs> but um, <laughs> all right. But yeah, good night, y'all. Have a good night. Sleep good night, tight, everyone. And I'll see you all this coming week. And I don't think there's anything I need to say. I feel like there's something I need to say, but I don't know. And um, yeah, if you guys saw the eclipse, it was amazing. So uh, oh, you didn't even talk about the eclipse. Well, I talked about it in the beginning, but oh, I was just, okay. I, I said it, I said it was one of the most amazing things. It I've was ever seen amazing. In my life, so. It was so amazing. And um, I hope one day, if you didn't get to see it, that you do see it because it is very cool. Did I miss your age? I missed your age age joke, Natasha. When what was your age joke? Hold on, where's your name? I'm twelve thousand three hundred and seventy eight years old. I'm just Asian, so I look twenty. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, That's true. Well, you know what? Congratulations, Natasha. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Good night, you guys. Good I'll night, see you guys everybody. later. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.